Right, let's talk COVID vaccines and bust some myths. My name's Shane and I'm currently an ITU doctor and I had my first dose of COVID vaccine about 24 hours ago. The process itself is similar to what you would have come across before with your flu jabs. You essentially have to go in and get consented, they'll explain to you all the risks of having the vaccine and then they'll safety net you to let you know what symptoms to look out for. They give you a very useful leaflet like this one. It answers useful questions like, what are the side effects? Now personally, when I've had flu vaccines in the past, I haven't been affected that much. But this time around with the COVID vaccine, I felt a headache come on about 12 hours after I had the vaccine, as well as feeling extremely tired, heavy and lethargic. However, I took some paracetamol and it took away those symptoms. So symptoms are definitely manageable. Can you catch COVID-19 from the vaccine? The simple answer is no. What's been injected into you isn't actually COVID-19. Instead, it's only an mRNA, which is a strand of RNA RNA that encodes for one of the spike proteins that COVID-19 causing coronavirus has. In essence, it allows your body to create antibodies against a spike protein, which means if you were to get infected with the coronavirus, then you'll have antibodies ready to protect you. It's the first of its kind and the first ever mRNA vaccine that the world has seen being put to use. So can you go back to normal activities after you've had the vaccine? Well, according to the leaflet, yes, you can, but it really depends on how well you're feeling after the vaccination. If you're experiencing a lot of pain in your arm then avoid things like heavy lifting and if you're feeling extremely tired then maybe try to have a pretty peaceful day. Now will the vaccine protect you? Well according to the studies done after you've had the first dose of the vaccination it might provide some protection up to 52% and after the second dose that should be done 21 days after the first one then you should have a protection of about 95%. After the first vaccination they'll also give you a card like this one. Essentially, the card will provide information on what vaccine you had, what batch number it was, and what date you had it. And it will also provide information on when your next vaccination date is. I hope everyone's staying safe.